Hi guys, welcome. And let me just say, you rock. Seriously, you should be proud of yourself for taking action. Even if it's just the first step, when so many people just kind of float through life. I honestly feel honored to be spending time with you. And I promise you, I won't, you won't be sorry because what you will learn here could seriously change your life. I want to quickly share something with you. Uh, have a quick look at this. That right there is my life two years ago. That's my life. If, if a cartoon can sum up your life in like one picture, that's my life right there. Try to look on the bright side, trying to make the best of it. But in reality, you know, things were pretty, pretty bad. If you've ever felt like that, if you can identify with that, then you're in the right place. Because we will be talking about everything that you need to consider if you want to start your own business. Things like, am I cut out for this? Isn't it risky? Where do I find business opportunities? You know, how much will it cost? I'm really, really passionate about this and I look forward to sharing this journey with you. You know, too many people are wasting their lives away doing jobs they don't enjoy, being undervalued and underpaid, getting home tired at 8 p.m. when the kids are already asleep, just to get a 2% 2 2 pay rise at the end of the year, you know? People spend three hours commuting to work and back every day, and at the end of the day, making money for someone else. On the other hand, we've all heard of these successful entrepreneurs who build highly, highly profitable business doing things that they actually believe in. Most people would agree that they love the idea of running their own business. You know, financial freedom, not working for a boss, living life on your own terms. What's, what's not to like? So what holds people back? We've actually extensively studied research on this topic, and I'll share that with you in a minute. But first, let me just quickly tell you who I am and why we're doing this. I grew up on a series of coal mines in South Africa from a very, you know, ordinary background. Uh, I started my first company when I was 23, doing fingerprint access control systems, and we had some early success. We raised about half a million dollars on a three mil valuation, um, and set up a national distributor network in South Africa. It was an amazing experience. Uh, I then started a second business in Taiwan, age 26, recruiting Western teachers into Taiwan. Um, before settling down into the corporate world where I spent the next 10 or so years. By 2011, I kind of felt trapped in the corporate world. I'd followed traditional success routes like doing an MBA, I did a master's degree, uh, spending lots of time away from my family, but you know, I was just not making the kind of money that I felt I deserved or I could make, and I was not happy and basically not fulfilled. I wished that I could start my own business, but every, even though I'd done it twice before, I found it incredibly, incredibly hard. I didn't have any killer ideas. I didn't have loads of cash lying around. Uh, I don't have any super special skills. When I tried to get some help, I found that there were loads of coaches out there, but they were either these make a million dollars online kind of programs or they can show you how to grow a business but not actually how to get started. I couldn't actually find any credible programs that would take me step by step from sitting in a day job to running my own business. So I decided to do something about it. I quit the corporate world and I set out on a mission to find the best entrepreneurs and the best entrepreneur coaches in the world to get the best systems, philosophies and techniques for starting a business from them and to build a program that would actually help people just like me to go from corporate to the freedom of running their own uh, business without needing to take massive risks. Over the last year and a half, I've spent over $50,000 intensely studying the science of startups, doing every course and reading every book that I could get my hands on, and getting personal mentoring by some of the best entrepreneurs out there. Not only have we built an amazing system, but I've been fortunate enough to hand pick a team of Australia's top startup experts to take you through it. So let's get back to the question, what holds people back from starting their own business? Well, research has shown that risk is one of the biggest factors and I'm sure you're not surprised to hear that. 
Conventional wisdom is that starting a business is very risky. I want to share a secret with you. And it's something that successful entrepreneurs know very, very well. And it's this. The game has changed. Corporate is the new risky. Why do I say it? Well, the fact is, the world has changed, right? With corporate layoffs, downsizings, rising unhappiness at work, the old day job isn't what it used to be. On the other hand, starting a business is now easier and more affordable than it's ever, ever been before. To put that into perspective, let me quickly show you something, right? In 1990, the average job tenure was over 10 years. By 2012, it was only three years. On the other hand, in 1990, the average startup cost for a business was over a million dollars. And by 2012, that had dropped down to just $10,000. Big, big difference. So what happened? Well, we all know that the world has changed in many, many amazing ways over the last decade or two. I was recently fortunate enough to be at a presentation by Matt Barry, uh, founder and CEO of Freelancer.com, a guy who's built a billion dollar big company right here in Australia over the last five or so years. And here are two specific changes that he highlighted. The first one is that every business is now an internet business. Think about that. Virtually any business you can think of is now either on the internet or an internet enabled business. Advertising, telecommunication, retail, books, point of sale, scrapbooking. The list literally goes on and on and on. The internet has fundamentally changed the way business is conducted because it gives someone sitting in their living room access to a global audience of billions of users at a very, very low cost. Here's the second change. The other 70% of the world's population are joining the internet. So just to put that into perspective, just to give you a bit of uh, background on what that means for you, think about this. In 2011, the world population was around 7 billion you know, give or take a few million. Of that, about 2 billion or 32% had internet connections. So what does that mean for you? Well, here's the thing. That other 5 billion people, most of them are on an average wage of $10 or less per day. And the first thing that they are doing is they're looking to raise their economic status. The result of that is incredible competition, outsourcing, downsizing, everything that you've been seeing around us. As an example, IBM announced just last year that they will lay off up to 25% of its global workforce as part of their liquid workforce project. And what will end up happening is that only core executive will be engaged full time, but everyone else will be on a, a freelance or a per project basis. IBM thinks this is the future of the workforce, and I tend to agree. In just August last year alone, employers in the US took over 1,200 mass layoffs, where over 127,000 workers were laid off. How long is it before it's your turn? So the question for you is, which would you rather be? Would you rather be an office worker or an online business owner? Hmm? Would you rather compete against 5 billion low-cost workers or have 5 billion potential customers? Would you rather have a job that can be outsourced and made redundant at any time or would you rather be in control of your own business? Would you rather get a 2 or 3% pay rise each year? Would you rather run a business which frequently can grow at over 100% per year? Would you rather get told who to work with? Or would you rather choose who you work with and when you want to work? Some of this is probably old news for you, right? And you might be thinking, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I've seen it all before. But how do I do it? How do I start my own business? Well, what we found is that the things that hold people back most are things like not having an idea, 
uh, not having the skills, not knowing where to, where, how to start, and a, in a lot of cases not knowing how to finance the business, which all translates to risk. So that's why we've put together a one-day startup bootcamp right here in Sydney, where seven of Australia's top startup experts will show you everything you need to know to get started. They will show you things like the entrepreneur's mindset of success. If you get this right, everything else falls into place. They'll show you where to find business opportunities. They'll show you how to finance your new business and also how to start building a new product like a real product manager, as well as how to find and connect with mentors who can help you fast track your success. Guys, I guarantee you, this will be Australia's most powerful bootcamp for aspiring entrepreneurs. If you miss this, you will kick yourself, probably 12 months down the line when your friend's business is already kicking along and you're still sitting in the same dead-end day job. So you can check it out by clicking underneath or going to corporatetofreedom.com slash bootcamp. Thanks and I look forward to seeing you. To your freedom.